Yellowstone supervolcano eruption cycles. The first use of NanoSims ion probe to understand the activity of the supervolcano. This is for uh, super eruptions. Geological Society of America reports that super eruptions are not the only type of eruption to be considered when evaluating hazards at volcanoes with protracted eruption history, such as Yellowstone in Wyoming, the Long Valley caldera, the supervolcano of California, and the Valles caldera, which is another supervolcano in New Mexico. There have been more than 23 effusive eruptions of rhyolite lava at Yellowstone since the last caldera forming eruption about 640,000 years ago. 23 effusive eruption of lava, all of similar or greater magnitude than the largest volcanic eruptions of the 20th century. This study by Christy B. Till and colleagues is innovative because it's the first to use nano SIMS ion probe measurements to document very sharp concentration gradients over short, very short distances in igneous materials and minerals, which allow a calculation of the time scale between reheating and eruption for the magma body of interest. Their results suggest that an eruption at the beginning of Yellowstone's most recent volcanic cycle was triggered within 10 months after reheating of a mostly crystallized magma reservoir following a 220,000 year period of volcanic quiescence. So after 220,000 year quiet, quiet period, it took 10 months of reheating to have the, a recent uh, to have a volcanic activity after that. A similarly energetic reheating of Yellowstone's current subsurface magma bodies could end 70,000 years of volcanic repose, quietness, that is, silence, and lead to a future eruption over similar time scales they find. Fortunately, while the authors are significant, any, say any significant reheating event is likely to be identifiable by geophysical monitoring, which is, of course, going on because we have the USGS Yellowstone Volcano Observatory there um, keeping a very uh, strong eye on what's happening in Yellowstone. This is on Science Daily by Geolo Geological Society of America, Christy Bill and Jorge Vasquez and Jeremy Boyce on Science Daily. If you'd like to join me on my Patreon account, you will hear content not covered by mainstream media. These riveting stories will be based on my research and I will state my opinions and give my personal insight on diverse and controversial subjects and world events, events not covered by mainstream media and not certainly on not supported by YouTube guidelines. So whatever I have on my Patreon, most of those will not be on my YouTube channel. Please consider becoming a member today. More of the, the most significant and important videos will be on my Patreon channel. Your support helps me to continue my research and keeps this YouTube channel alive. And we depend on your support, your generous charity, because we help economically challenged families here in Athens, Greece in Capota, and we also help the young generation with university tuition and the community around our church. Thank you.